Hi everyone, Dale Pinkert, Mario Draghi has spoken, and the Euro had a very strong day during the presser, bottoming at 112 before rallying up to 112. 80 ish 113 as you could see the top red line's a wedge line uh, we're threatening a breakout to the upside i think tomorrow's nfp is going to set the course for what the dollar's going to do for the next several weeks possibly months and if we get a breakout over 113 uh, we could be looking at the top of the wedge up around 117 intermediate term back under 112 changes the picture for 109 so tomorrow very key day with the nfp uh, perhaps we're going to get a weaker number, haven't had one for a while. Uh, I believe that could generate this dollar breakdown, euro breakout. Keep an eye on that. Failure, again, would be back under 112. So every once in a while, you get to an inflection point that could uh, be one day, one day's action. After months and months of being indecisive, I believe we're going to have a decision day. So I also want to talk about uh, the look in the end because I think it's going to have a lot to do with my call for interest rates are troughing out and are about to start heading higher again. So I talked about this 107.80 level. Uh, very possible if we get a weak number that they take the yen down one more time. I'm a buyer down here at uh, about 60 lower, 107.60 in the next few days, looking to time a U.S. dollar yen buy with a top in the bond market. It. So uh, right now on the end, we have held support on two separate occasions on a weekly basis. We're about unchanged on the week. So again, tomorrow, another pretty key day. Would not like to see closes under 107.60. That opens the door for all kinds of retracements, 106.13, and then most likely lower, uh, which would also presage a uh, complete blow off in the, in the bond market. So the proxy that I want to talk about here in for the bond market is going to be TLT. It's an ETF. It's based upon the 20-year treasury kind of right in between the 10-year note yield and also the 30. So uh, right in the middle and going to be talking about TLT, which you can see on the daily chart, we've had a throwover of a rising wedge. Uh, recent high has confirmed. Uh, my ideal scenario is perhaps to pull back to the red line. Uh, if that's the case, uh, maybe that happens on a strong number. Uh, but possibly into next week, if we get this pullback and it holds, we could eke out one more high towards 133 and a quarter, 133.50. And uh, with divergence, I'll be top picking the bonds. Uh, you could, if you want to be conservative, wait for closes back inside the wedge line, which uh, eyeballing it looks like 129-ish or lower. Also, we have a gap that was not filled yet at the 130.18 level, did not do it yesterday. So again, key days. Would love to see the bond market stay strong stay stiff one more washout in 10-year yields to take out this week's lows and set up a major bond top that i think is going to set the stage for rates retracing all the way back to where they were uh a year and a half ago when everyone was really um uh, besides themselves with the 10-year note at 320. so that's my outlook i think it's a major opportunity remember don't just count your pips count your blessings have a great weekend dale pinkert Adios.